everyone, it's Andrea from Movers and Bakers. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my Jammy Dodger blondies. These are gorgeous, chewy white chocolate blondies packed full of the classic British biscuit. Let's get baking. Right, to start with, we are going to melt down some ingredients together. So into my lovely large mixing bowl, I'm going to pop in some unsalted butter, some soft light brown sugar, and some white chocolate. So I'm going to do this in the microwave just because I find that the most convenient way for me. If you want to do this over a pan of simmering water, that works as well. But if you prefer, you can absolutely do this over a pan of simmering water too. So once you have melted your butter and your chocolate in your microwave or however you do it, you will find your mixture doesn't come together very easily. It will start off looking like it's split. So you'll have, as you can see, your butter is all loose and your chocolate and your sugar will look like it's curdled as part of that. What you need to do at this stage is just keep mixing until all of it combines together. And it's really important that you do because if you don't, you will end up with super buttery, greasy blonde so at this stage it's really important to make sure these three ingredients are really well mixed together before we move on. So once your mixture has come together it will be lovely and thick. You can see it almost fudgy looking and that's exactly what we want. Perfect. So to this I am now going to add my eggs one at a time. And I like to mix my eggs um, and vanilla in one at a time, just to make sure they mix easily without any lumps. Egg number two. And once all that's mixed in, we're going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla. Once all that is mixed together, it's time to add in our dry ingredients. So into a sieve directly over my bowl, I'm going to pop in my flour and some salt. I'm going to sift all this in, then we're just going to fold it through. And while I'm sifting, it's a really great time for me to remind you to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. The nice thing about blondies for me, like brownies, is they come together so quickly and you can do them all in one bowl. It just makes it super easy to make. Once all your dry ingredients have been mixed in, it's time to add in our final couple of ingredients. So I've got some white chocolate chips because you can never have enough chocolate, especially white chocolate. And alongside that, seeing as we're making Jammy Dodger blondies, I'm going to put some Jammy Dodgers in. Now, I've got a mixture here of some larger ones and some smaller ones, as you can see. I'm going to keep some aside as whole ones because we're going to put them on top of the blondies before they get baked. So I'm going to keep aside four whole ones and maybe eight or nine smaller sized ones. Obviously, this is what I've got. If you've only got the smaller ones, go with that. If you've only got the bigger ones, you can chop them up and do it whatever suits you. This is just what I am doing. So the rest of my Jammy Dodgers, once I've pulled aside the ones that I want for the top, I've got a mix in here again of some larger ones that are slightly stuck together, which is nice. And then I've got some smaller ones. You can leave the smaller ones whole if you want, but I've given them a little bit of a chop as well. So all of that's going in. Right, time to mix all this together. Now do this nice and carefully so that you don't break up the biscuits too much. So I'm just doing it nice and gently. I just want them to spread out evenly all the way through my blondie mixture. So that just took me about five turns through. And now all I'm going to do is pop this into my prepared tin. So I have here an eight by eight square tin with a loose bottom that I have just lined with some parchment paper. And I've just used some clips to hold it up, but you can not do that at all if you don't want to, that's fine. So my mixture's going in. So once you have got all your mixture in your pan, I'm just going to use my spatula just to push it all down to make sure it's as flat as I can get it. And before I put my Jammy Dodgers on top, I'm going to put some dollops of raspberry jam on the top of this blondie mixture in my tin and give it a swirl around. And what that's going to do is it's gonna give this really lovely, pretty ripple effect over the top of my blondies. It looks absolutely gorgeous. 
So once you've put blobs of jam all over the top of your blondies, I'm going to use a skewer. You can use a knife, um, you can use a fork if you want to, if you don't have a skewer, or a toothpick even actually is really, really good. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just go in and I'm just going to put random patterns all the way around just to spread the jam out rather than having blobs of jam all over the top. And once you are done with that, is time for the rest of our jammy dodgers. Now I'm just going to put these in really randomly over the top and I'm just going to give them a little gentle press down. They shouldn't sink any further than staying on the top because of the other biscuits within the blondie mixture. It should stay at the top so there's no worry about them sinking to the bottom during baking. So once you have got all your biscuits in the top of your blondie mixture, I like to give them just a little bit of a wiggle just to make sure they are well secured in my blondies. And that's it, and these are gonna go in the oven to bake. They'll take about 25 minutes, and I shall see you on the other side with baked blondies. So, my blondies are baked, they are out of the oven, and they are mostly cool, but I was a little bit too impatient to dig in. So the middle of them is still slightly warm, but the edges have cooled enough for me to cut some slices, and I wanted to share with you what they look like. So I cut just the edges which have cooled first and I wanted to share with you how gorgeous they are. So they're beautiful and fudgy in the middle. You can see all your white chocolate chips and some pieces of jammy dodger in the middle of them as well. And of course we've got little pops of flavour from those swirls of jam we put right at the top. And there you have it, my jammy dodger blondies. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe as usual and I shall see you next time. Happy baking.